awesome to find out. Uh, even though I'm Korean, I found more things about how to uh, dress Korean um, clothing, traditional clothing, humble and uh, meanings behind them and I really appreciate um, uh, people explaining about them and, and uh, I really want to um, also share that with other people so that they too can understand the significance of, of our humble. Oh, I thought it was a really great lecture. The lecture itself was very entertaining um, and it gave a lot of uh, both contemporary as well as historical context around humble, not just from a fashion sense, but also just with as it pertains to Korean culture as well. So I really liked it. Oh, it was very, very informative. Um, um, Dr. Lee is extremely knowledgeable and to put clothing in the context of its development historically was very informative, educational. So, um, you know, I didn't really know what to expect uh, when I heard uh, that this lecture was going to take place. But, um, you know, I find that the humble, you know, uh, part of my identity and also uh, just aesthetically something that's very pleasing to the eye. You know, there's a lot of history that I, I didn't know. Um, and so I found the lecture, you know, both very um, informative, um, but also really engaging um, because uh, it, it was a topic that uh, not just interesting to me, but it kind of helped um, maybe plug in some gaps, fill in some gaps. Um, uh, so yeah, I think I, I feel like a, a more informed Korean now. <laughs>
the history of the various kinds of traditions that contributed to the what we now recognize as Hanbok. Um, and so it makes me want to learn more about Korean history and um, all of the different time periods that were discussed this evening and uh, the workmanship of the garments that are on display are incredible and um, I have a lot of respect for that kind of artistry so I'm very inspired. It was just such a great learning experience. Right. I didn't know that much about uh, Korean dress. I've done some kimonos and Japanese clothing, but I've never worked with Korean uh, clothing. Yeah. And this uh, idea of this particular style is, is very interesting. Well, it was really exciting to have a chance to uh, see Hanbok and to learn about the history and even see some demonstrations of uh, Hanbok uh, painting decoration on Hanbok, which is something I'd never seen before. And then we also got to see dancing, which you got to see Hanbok in motion. Uh, so that was a real great opportunity for us. Oh, for me, definitely painting on the um, painting on the dresses. Watching somebody actually make a piece of art is so uh, memorable. But that was really impressive. Um, I think also watching the dancers, specifically the first dancer in the elaborate costume, and how you would think that that amount of fabric would be bulky, but it really allowed for movement and um, it moved beautifully with the dance. It became kind of a dancer itself. So I think off the top of my head, those were my favorites. Also, I loved Annette's presentation at the end of going there as, an Amer well, as a Dutch American and fi finding her own identity in Hanbok. 어 제가 어릴 때는 그냥 명절이나 특별한 행사 때만 있는 옷이라 항상 이제 좀 불편하고 아름답긴 하지만 어 조금 이제 특별한 의미가 있었던 것 같고 이제 꼭 특별한 날 있는 그런 옷. 근데 이제 자라면서 어 특별하게 제가 그 옷을 입어야 되겠다는 어떤 그런 생각을 못 했었어요. 근데 이제 저도 나이가 좀 가고 어좀더그 한국의 미가 이 옷이란 데서 많이 나타나는 것 같아서 어 저도 좀 운영을 해서 입어보면 좋지 않을까 <웃음> 그런 생각이 들어요.